what is going on everybody today we're gonna get a good pump with him with some light weight i was at kmart and i seen these 10 pound dumbbells and a lot of people think you gotta lift heavy just to get a good pump that's not the case you could get a good pump with the right type of training with 10 pound dumbbells and i show you right here these are definitely 10 pound dumbbells and they got some really good weight and we're gonna get a real good pump today i'm gonna show you that's four different movements you can use to get a really good pump off these dumbbells it's not about lifting heavy uh, all the time and it's all about how you lift and how you train sometimes it's all about keeping that tension in your body and doing multiple reps fast reps slow reps you want to be able to switch that up and with dumbbells you get a good range of motion to do this these dumbbells will give you every opportunity to get that right range of motion all in your arms all with 10 pounds so you're not straining the joints or nothing you're just going to get that steady good pump so I'm going to show you guys four different movements you can use when using these dumbbells. Um, you can get them very cheap on sale for Kmart for no less than maybe $6 or $7. And these are all with 10 pound dumbbells. Um, I promise you, you'll get a good pump out these 10 pound dumbbells. Not only that, but they come in handy. You know, they're going to add that extra 10 pounds. So 10 pounds all together and two dumbbells. So that equals 20 pounds. And if you got 20 pounds of added weight against you, that's actually pretty heavy when you're doing high cardio or high repetitious workouts. They actually get pretty heavy. So don't let anybody tell you you can't get a pump out of using 10 pound dumbbells or light weight because it's a lie. So let's go. This is Jackie's training one on one. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get a really really good pump by using these dumbbells our first technique we got the dumbbells we're ready we're already pumped we're ready to go we're jacked first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the dumbbell up in a curling motion and bring it right all the way up to our chest just like that so you're actually getting the best of both worlds bringing it up to our chest bringing it up just like that and as you see I'm kind of flexing my chest muscles as I do it as well and I'm flexing that bicep I'm flexing that bicep so I'm curling it right into my chest elbows tight in and I'm flexing that bicep as I do it too so it's actually two different workouts in one and I'll give you guys 10 reps at ease it's all about uh, pushing yourself to that very limit. You got to push yourself. You got to keep pushing. You got to keep trying, man. This is lightweight, but I can already feel that good pump. I can already feel it. Oh, man. Yeah. Feels real good. And as you see, I'm going down nice and slow with it as well. I'm going down nice and slow, really flexing that chest muscle as I come all the way up. Nice and slow. Really keeping that tension. Nice and slow, 10 reps, you guys. Bring it all the way up to your chest and continue, continue to flex that bicep in as well. So you're getting a chest workout and an arm workout all at the same time. I'm going down nice and slow, slow control reps. Once again, if you want to add some cardio into it, hey guys, don't be afraid to add that cardio into it as well and go a little bit faster. As you see, my breathing increases as I go faster. I'm gripping this weight as tight as I can as well. I'm gripping it as tight as I can. I'm going fast. I'm going as fast as I can. And this is going to cut the calories. It's going to help me cut all those calories. Very, very tough. But you'll make it through it. Do whatever you got to do to make it through the workout. Play some music. Get that motivation. Get that motivation you need. Uh, come on. Come on. Uh, and as you see, fast reps. Breathing increases. And I really feel it all in my joints. Especially my forearm now. 
rather than my bicep now, since I'm going fast, I feel it all in my forearm. Now, slow it down. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. And now I feel it more in my chest. Feel it more in my chest. Oh, yeah. Right there. You want to flex that bicep. So it's kind of good to coincide slow tension reps and with fast reps. So you can do 10 reps, a slow, slow tension reps. You can do 10 reps of that, but you can also switch it up and do another 10 reps of fast reps. So all along, it's, it's two different workouts in one and two different sets you can do to kind of confuse that muscle. That's just the first movement, you guys. We got three more to go, and this will give you a good pump. If you want to get these shoulders, you want to have some light weight like this, or you even go heavier. It's good to trick that muscle though. That light, I like using the light weight because you can keep a lot of more tension in that bicep. You can actually do holds, which I'll show you what it looks like. And if you hold it, I'm really keeping that tension. I'm controlling it all the way down. And that's the second movement we're about to do. We're about to do some shoulder flies. And first, we'll start off with some fast reps to really get that blood flowing. This feels really good on shoulders, you guys, especially with some light weight. Ah, yeah. And believe it or not, doing this light weight will help you in your exercises here in the near future. So when you're benching heavy or you're doing any type of heavy lifting, your joints will already be conditioned and strong enough because you're doing these exercises at the house. So don't ever count out home workouts. They will help you in the near future when you're at the gym. It's always good about confusing that muscle. And as you see, I'm going at a steady pace. I think I'm at my last rep, you guys. 10 reps. Always call out your reps. Never leave money on the table. Always finish your reps. Go extra if you got to. I'm going to give you one more. Uh, nice. Nice. I feel that blood really flowing in. Really flowing in. So now what I want to do is I got those nice steady reps out the way. I'm going to give you some nice slow control reps and I'm going to pause it. This is going to strengthen all, all my joint muscles. It's going to strengthen everything. So, hey, let's get to it. Very, very tough. Here we go, baby. Ah, nice slow control reps. And what I'm going to do is I'm kind of holding it. I'm going to hold it. Very slowly control it all the way down and kind of flex my chest muscles and my stomach muscles while I'm doing this. I'm rise right back up. Uh, uh, nice and slow. Control it all the way down and flex every muscle in your body when you come down. Every muscle. You want to come right back up. Give it that hold. Give it a little five second hold. One, two, three, four, five. And control it all the way down. Flex that chest muscle. Flex your triceps, your arms when coming all the way down. Almost like you're flexing. Like you're getting that uh, good flex on. That's how you want to do when you're coming down. Well, go again. Uh, come on. Uh, yeah. Control it all the way down. Uh, nice slow reps. Control it all the way down. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing is a part of everything. It's going to determine how well you lift this weight. Always control your breathing. No matter how heavy or how light the weight is. Let you see. I'm coming up. Blasting up. I'm going slow. Nice and down. I blast up. Control it nice and down. Wow. 
Ooh, it's been 10 minutes and I already feel a fairly really good pump in my forearms. I already feel it. Oh man, all with the light weight. We'll start with the third movement, which are hammer curls. Um, one of the easier out the movements, you just want to bring the weight up right here to your chest. You want to keep that back straight. What I do is sometimes I lean against the wall to really keep that back straight, keep that posture. I'm bringing it all the way up to my chest. These are hammer curls. It's going to work out that bicep. It's going to work out them forearms. That's what you want. This is all with light weight, and I really feel that burn. Ah, yeah. Once again, you can switch it up and go fast. As you see, I'm breathing when I'm going fast, burning calories as well. Now I'm going slow. Ah, slow is more of a strength trainer. It's going to give you more muscle control once you go slow. So I always kind of go slow with these weights as well too. You want to go real slow and control it all the way down. Fast, slow. That's the key to everything. When you're lifting weights, you go at a fast pace, but you also to go at a slower pace to gain more muscle control and more and more and more endurance as well. Oh wow, I really feel it. And you know, being up against this wall. It's forcing me to have the correct posture. You know, it's forcing me to it. You know, what? without me leaning up against a wall, I might get some cheap reps in, but if I'm leaning up against a wall, I'm forced to have that cor correct posture. Head straight and knocking out these hammer curls, really knocking them out. Ugh, ugh, come on. That felt good. That felt real good. Okay, the fourth and final part of this exercise, we're gonna get those biceps in even more. We're gonna start by curling these. And curls are really good if you really wanna build up that bicep. So let's go. Let's give these bad boys some curls. Um, I'll start by curling both of them. Uh, yeah, as you see, Coming all the way up. Uh, controlling it down. This is a nice steady pace you can go at. Go at whatever pace you want, but it's also good to switch up the pace and go faster. Uh, go as fast as you can. Uh, uh, yeah. Ah, come on, baby. Now, go slow. Go as slow as you can. Control it all the way down. And that's how you build strength, you guys. That's how you build that muscle control. Doing this right here. Going slow and going all the way down. Slow and all the way down. And fast reps. Wow. Oh my gosh. I got to put those bad boys down. Right now, it feels... It literally feels like my bicep is about to explode. My chest muscles are pumped. You know, um, if you start to get too stiff, if you start to ever get too stiff, um, what my friend Dominique always said, and Dominique's training one-on-one, -on -one, you can check him out on YouTube and Facebook. But he always told me, um, if you get too stiff, don't be afraid to kind of stretch out and loosen those joints. Because these are some tough workouts. In a matter of 10 minutes, I already feel a pump. So um, you will feel a pump and your muscles will get tight doing this exercise. Tight is good. You want to be able to kind of loosen that up. So take at least a 20 second breather and allow muscle recovery. But doing that breather, also move your arms, move your legs, maybe jog in place. Keep that heart rate up so you don't lose that good pump. You don't want to lose it. You want to burn as many calories as you can, so keep that body moving. Okay, baby, let's get started. Okay, we, I showed you four different movements, four different movements that you can do. The last part of this exercise is incorporating all 
four movements into one exercise, it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy, but we never want it to be easy. We want it to be as tough as we can. We want it to be tough. So let's go. I'm going to try to do all four different exercises, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Motivation. That's the ultimate key. Uh, come on. Here we go. Uh, first exercise. Bringing it all the way up. Ten reps. Really flexing that chest. Really flexing that chest. Ah, yeah. Really flexing that chest, baby. Ten reps. Nice, nice. Now, ten slow reps. Control reps. Ah, yeah. Ten slow control reps. And I'm already sweating, you guys. It's really tough. But you got to fight through that pain and make it through it. You got to fight through it. And tell yourself, you want to become a better you. Come on, fight through that pain. These are 10 pound weights, but you see me sweating. You see me just struggling, trying to get this weight up. It's nice, slow control reps. It's tough. You don't have to lift heavy every time. You don't have to lift heavy all the time. All right, here we go, baby. Shoulder press. Uh, sh uh. Nice. Once again, nice, uh, fast reps. Really burning that cardio, uh, increasing my muscle and endurance, muscle stamina. Now, now, comes the muscle control. You want to control it all the way down for 10 reps. This is where it's tough. This is where you want to feel like giving up. But you want to put that in your mind, never to give up and always keep trying your best. No matter what, prove all doubters wrong and show them that you can do this. Uh, show them that you can do this. Uh, come on. Uh, it's tough. I got about three more reps. I'm trying to fight through it. Uh, nice slow control reps coming all the way down. Don't forget to flex every part of your body. Flex those abs. Flex that chest. When you come down, ah, whew. one more, one more, ah, whew. one more, one more. Always go for the extras if you got the strength to do it. Ah, ah, ah. I'm going down as slow as I can. Oh my God. Okay, hammer curls, baby. my posture a little bit so I'm leaning up against the wall to maintain correct prize posture and actually make it harder uh, okay I got my fast reps out the way <sighs> nice slow control reps these are the key if you want to get strong if you want to loosen up if you want to uh, tighten your body up do this <sighs> nice slow control reps <sighs> Always breathe. Wow. Uh, we're almost done. We're almost done. It's tough. Okay. Okay. Here we go, baby. Last exercise. We do the curls. We knock out the curls. This is it. This is the final moment that counts. So I'm going to knock out these curls. Nice, steady control reps. For 10 reps. Nice, steady control. Uh, I'm breathing heavy. <sighs> Control your breathing. You'll get more reps. Uh, come on. I'm using this wall as leverage. So I keep that correct posture. Uh, 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 wow. Final set. You want to do it as fast as you can. In this final set, do a burnout. Burn out on this final set, you guys. Really burn it out and do it as fast as you can because this is it. This is the last rep. This is the last rep that counts. You're climbing down that mountain with only 10 pound dumbbells. Let's go. Nice. Really feel it. Really feel it. 
it all in my bicep. It almost feels like I'm running on a treadmill. And you get a good pump just like this and burn just as much calories, if not more, than doing this than running on the treadmill. You actually gain strength and muscle and lose calories and lose more weight just by doing this. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> very, very tough exercises, you guys. Oh, my gosh. As you feel, my whole body is tight. I really feel pumped. And, man, there's sweat just dripping off my face. And this was all in a matter of 20 minutes, sometimes even 10 minutes. Um, you'll feel a really good pump with just 10-pound dumbbells. I'm pretty sure um, if you go to your local Walmart, Kmart, or any type of fitness store, you will find these 10 pound dumbbells and hey, purchase them. You know, um, price is very low. I got a very good deal. And remember you guys, you don't have to lift heavy all the time. You can do home workouts. These home workouts will make you stronger in the long run. Um, and you will find yourself getting stronger just by coming up to the gym because you confuse that muscle especially if your body is not used to working out at the house so this is Jackie's training one-on-one -on -one. I'll be back with some more training hey it's all about us trying to better each other so let's spread that knowledge and let's keep working hard and let's better each other each and every day baby